All right, G4. Back on another day. I'm pretty sure this is where I left off. Uh, this looks unsolved. Yeah, it's probably good. Okay. Where is the panel? Ooh. Four crystals, but two cubes. One of them's programmable, though, so it's kind of a big deal. How could you do this to me? Okay, so how do I... Yep. So I need blue and green in order to solve this. Nothing else matters until I get that open. There's a lot of stuff around here. Okay. This fire's a blue beam. But I need blue and green. Red should be useless to me. A blue and green. This crystal consists of blue and green. So I should hopefully be able to bounce this in just the right way. It leads to some kind of results. Let's try a 45 degree angle and hope for the best. Did I actually nail it? Oh no, is it inverted? That's not good. But this is, these are the correct beams. Uh, how do I fix that? Because if this was the red mirror, then it would just bounce. If this was the red mirror, it would just bounce off directly without splitting at all. So I want the first one to be the one that splits the colors and the second one to be the one that bounces the leftover, right? But I somehow have these backwards. That's a problem. I don't think I want to change that because that's the correct color to get me those two outputs. This ca these can't be split because they're primary colors in RGB. And I'm, that's my only tool. How would I ever invert the output? Not like there's other, other mirrors lying around. Oh. There's another emitter. Well, that changes things a bit. Ah, it's even easier to do because you can actually see both the targets and the thing that changes when you do it right. Okay. I was about to tear myself open. I was like, oh my god, what's happening? I'm having a meltdown. This is impossible. Straight up didn't see the second spot, which of course had to exist because I was getting a crystal out of that anyway. Anyway. Alright, uh, let's stop this, because I need to decode what the hell's happening here. So I can make my beams red, blue, teal, or white. I need to hit, I need to fill the diamond, so the X's no longer matter. Four diamonds. This is purple and teal. And this is purple and purple. Okay. Interesting. I'm thinking we want you to be here. Oh, that's not the input button. There we go. I want purple coming out of both of these sides. I think I want to switch you guys. That angle's not going to work, but maybe that one will. That's it, right? 
Huh. Huh. I like the first part of the puzzle better than the second part of the puzzle. That was just so... Blah. It's like instantly solved. I didn't even use the mirrors in the second part. But the first part was like, oh, this is fun. This is the little bouncy thing I gotta do. All right, next letter. Oh, that's, <laughs> I can't see the walls. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> like, where are the walls? I'm like a Labrador running into a screen door. What was that for? Where are they getting garbage from this deep into the put into the chamber? There aren't like concession stands. Janitors have an easy job with that stuff. They don't even have to check. <laughs> no one will ever actually deposit stuff in those garbage cans unless they just throw up, I guess. There are no bathrooms. Lots of garbage cans, no bathrooms. Why does this look s because <laughs> it is solved, because I went backwards. Whoops. Woo! Because they're going to G. H, there we go. <laughs> didn't, didn't really have a memory for the letters that much. I guess, yeah, I did do, just do E4, so I should have been looking for... Oh, no, I did G4, right. Even in my memory, I thought I was at E4. I'm just forgetting entirely where I am. There's I. We're going red theme now. The A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Like 28 deep, so this is like this is puzzle 29. Seven linears, two crystals, four diamonds. Boy, that's a lot, by the way. No opportunities for splitting beams. I mean, two separate halves where I can't. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, right, that one's a filter. Oh, it's gonna be like that. Okay, so it's four quadrants. And I need to figure out what needs to go where. We need blue and red to get in here. Hmm. Just sort of preempt this. Like red go there, blue go there. Hopefully works out. Alright, blue beam. Is this floaty? Oh, it is floaty. To what end? There's a blue target here. I only have one gem. Or one box. Which bodes poorly for me. And yeah, this can't go through the blue filter. That's a cool visual. Eh. Ah. Can I recreate what happened there? Hey, look at that. It still, it still works while it's spinning around in the air. Just kind of neat looking. That's neat. That's neat. I don't think I'm going to be moving these because I don't think I can take them anywhere. 
But blue has to get in here, which is a problem because I only have one square. So maybe blue ends there? If at all possible? have a one way here. Hmm. Like that takes care of the purple and the blue here. Three out of four. So three of them are in that one room, and then one of them's all the way back here. So I guess it's a puzzle about having and creating like the efficient path through the area. Ah, that is a blue barrier. <laughs> it's interesting because we do go back and forth with like having blue and red barriers so I'm probably not going to catch like a wide angle that I can use to like <clears throat> skip a room with one of the beams because the clear line of sight is only on the outside not the inside you can't see into the other room very cleanly here. Not at the angle you'd want so that you could shoot it through both at the same time and stuff like that. Meanwhile, blue has to come through here but also go somewhere else. Which raises concerns. Because blue needs to come through here, hit all of these, then go all the way back and get and leave. I get you. So then what I want to do is combine you. If I make it one beam, I can use fewer pieces. Uh, this will let red through though. I need to filter the blue. Kind of hoping to come around this way. But it'll hit the blue filter and it'll become blue. It won't be purple. But it has to it would have to come in through this side if I let them come through in a combined form. This is hard to visualize. Hmm. Meanwhile, these are here. Float spaces. Only in a couple places, though. So I can come up here and shoot down towards one of the spots. Why, though? It's really weird to say about a puzzle mechanic, but I'm kind of leaning towards the idea of the floating areas being cosmetic to fill in the room. Except they're not in that one, so it's not consistent. But I can't 
it feels like a two-dimensional puzzle. I don't know why I'd want to add a z-axis. Especially since you can only shoot from the high spot. You can't shoot to a high spot because of the fact that the cubes can't aim up and down. They have to be floating to do that. If I just open by shooting the blue, I can combine them into a purple beam here. Then they don't have to come back out. Need the line of sight to work. There we go. Yeah, now it's a one-way trip, which changes the nature of my approach. Now I can just send this purple beam through here, and they can figure things out. Give myself a nice angle so I can potentially catch it. Maybe a better angle than that. I need it to go deeper. It still has to go there, ultimately. I guess I want to go further, but that makes it go into a shallower angle. So I guess this is the best I'm going to get. I can make that work. And I shall. Ta-da! How did that work? Oh. It was the puzzle being broken by the infinite bouncing beam. So it was stuck in purple even though the, the components of purple were not being fed into it. It's, it's that, that age-old thing that's like... Kind of a bug? That we've identified in earlier games? Where, like, you can have, like, the phantom of a previous color that was included being still in, still in, involved. One of those things where, like, when you think about it logically, it kind of makes sense that it's happening, and you can kind of get why it would happen, but also it always feels like you're kind of in defiance of the puzzle. And, like, the solution doesn't feel like it's legit. But I was already doing the legit solution anyway, so I just popped it over. This is getting big. Hi. I usually spend the, the most time on the puzzles that have the most... ...square mileage. <laughs> like that one... ...nightmare sky overpass puzzle from one of the previous games. There's a lot here. Is there a, Let's look at the panel. Eight linears, two splitters. We're done with the programming ones for now. Reprogrammable ones, the customizable ones. We have two laser gems, and we have eight diamonds. One. Two. So our two colors are yellow and purple, which means we have every color and a, and a little duplicates, if there is splitting involved. This is red and blue. And this is red and green? Yeah. There are two reds, a green, and a blue. If there are filters to even cut them apart. Then we just got a whole bunch of these guys. So you shoot directly into that. It's interesting. Either they're there to suggest that that one should be stay yellow and that one should stay purple, and this the first two of the eight are a gimme, 
or the twist is that you can actually only solve the puzzle if you switch the two beams, but then you have to figure out how to redirect them to those two spots. I don't know. We have one teal here. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. So of the eight, four of them are teal and they're up here. So I need to take the green, the red from you. No, the yellow. F I take the green from you and the blue from you, removing the red from both of them. So there must be a filter. Then when they're out, oh, there it is. The red will go through, other stuff will bounce off. Then I figure out how to redirect that. But that's not all of them. That's four of them. There's still two more goals. Uh... What does this mean? Okay, so these two need red to go into them, and it looks like they'll make a beam come out. Green and blue beams. Is that the plot twist? Is I don't want to use the filter? That's a lot of linears. Patoof. So what kind of results do I get if I point this up there? Ah, there's something interesting going on up there. If you get just the right angle, it'll actually also hit this white that's apparently up there. Which would act as a mirror for the... No, yeah? Like there was comments that are saying like no they make they make perfect sense to me. People were like they they the they make perfect sense they're not mirrors they're filters. They let through the thing that is the same color as them and bounce off everything else. But of course white is all colors combined in the light spectrum. Everything combined in in like the pigment spectrum gives you black and everything combined in the in the light spectrum gives you white. So white would contain everything and therefore would not bounce anything ever and would essentially not exist because it wouldn't be a, f a puzzle mechanic. So like, so like even when with that explanation about how no, it totally makes sense, it still doesn't make sense. Because as far as, like unless I'm getting it wrong, but I'm pretty sure that, per, that, that hand wave explanation somebody gave isn't correct either. Because white is everything combined, so white would not filter anything. Everything would go through it. There we go. Alright, so I guess the reds are going to land over here somewhere. Do I have the diagonal angle to make this work? I sure do. There's just there's these blue and green beams. I still have two more boxes down here. These are always kind of awkward angles. Is 
are not 90 degrees. And of course the puzzle likes to be... The puzzle likes to use 90 degree angles. Which puts me in a position. So we're gonna be in trouble, right? Because if I get one beam come in, and I split it, I have two beams. If I split it again, I have three beams, and I have four targets. But I can't do it with these. Which is why they gave me the weird surprise excess one. Is it though? That's, ooh, I see it now. Cause we're making these beam, we're making these white. Because now that we cross the streams here, that has green and blue, and that has green and blue. Which means I can skip the early step where I combine the two of them together. Because they're both teal now. Which should mean I can make a basically symmetrical version of what I did here with the other one. Boom. Gotcha. I think... I think that's a success. Woo. Little hitch moment. Alright. This one's certainly visually dynamic. There's a lot going on here. Alright, onward. Onward.